Hello, I'm Mr Cooper and this is Religious Studies News. Today I'm going to be giving you some simple tips and techniques for how to succeed when it comes to the six mark question at the end of every 18 mark exam paper. In short, if you follow these essential tips and work on these techniques, then you will achieve your best grade using the points given. So, step one. Step one is some information about what the question will look like. It will always start with a statement. For example, abortion is wrong. Religious experience disproves the existence of God, in quotation marks. And then after this, it will say, do you agree? Give reasons for your answer, showing that you've thought about more than one point of view. Refer to religious arguments in your answer. Now, what this is asking for is not just your opinion, it's not just a set of uh, ramblings and ravings of a madman, rather, it is asking for a balanced argument using evidence from what you have studied. If you can learn to structure all of that correctly, then you're well on your way. Step two, religious arguments. I mentioned that in the opening step one, but religious arguments are absolutely crucial, as this is, after all, a religious studies exam. In fact, on the six mark questions, the mark scheme explicitly states that if you do not refer to religious arguments in your answer, you will only get a maximum of three marks. So, if you give a degree level response with no religious arguments, then you will only get three marks. There are no real hard and fast tips here except to revise some key quotations, some key teachings, and then learn how to apply those. So, for example, Christianity, do unto others as you would have done to yourself, Buddhism, Ahimsa, and so on. So learn these key teachings, quotations, and then start to study how they can be applied. Simply put, that's revision. Step three then, starts to get a bit more complicated, but follow these steps when in an exam. Step three is balance. You have to imagine this. You're given a quotation, let's use an example, abortion is wrong. You essentially have three marks for either side of the argument. The first side being I agree because, or in fact I disagree because, and then on the other side of the argument you have, however, some may disagree because, or some may agree because. Now, that's three marks for this side and three marks for this side. In essence, it has to be fully balanced. There's no point giving four points this side and one this side because there's a maximum of three marks either side. The next question is, intuitively, how do I get three marks? Well, uh, on either side you should look to have two reasons one of which is developed. So, this is because, this means that, and I'll talk about that in a moment. So, structure-wise, as long as you have a developed reason and a simple reason either side, then your exam paper will be fully balanced. What I try and do is, in an exam, I try to just plan very briefly, in the margin, before I started writing, to give me that sense of structure at the very beginning of the question. Okay, step four. Um, this is how to develop a point. So remember, you need a developed point and you need a simple point. And this is, and you may have used this technique in other subjects, it's called a P, or point, evidence, explanation. So first of all, I think that. That's the simple statement. I think that abortion is wrong. Uh, this is because I think that the mother should not have the choice because sanctity of life wins over. Okay? That's the evidence. And then explanation. That, this is the development part now. This means that the child's right to life is greater than the mother's right to choose. Okay? So this part. This should be metronomic in your head, this phrase, by the examination points. 
this means that, this means that. And it always makes sure you tie your answer to explicitly answering the question, explicitly responding to the statement. This means that, this means that, this means that. And that, in essence, is how you develop a point. Okay, so a very quick summary from the assessment penguin. Uh, number one, you should revise your religious arguments. Number two, you should make sure your argument's fully balanced. And number three, remember this means that will help you develop your viewpoints and, crucially, the viewpoints of others. If you need any other help, myself, Mr. Cook and Mr. Beardshaw are here to help, as well as Mr. Davis. Uh, we have uh, a Twitter feed, if you would wish to have a look at that for some exam tips during your study leave, that's at RS Department BSB, or you can listen to some of the exam structure podcasts at mrcooper.podbean.com. And remember, no angry birds. Thank you for listening.